Hey, what's up guys? Brian Kelly here from Zombie Guitar. Here in today's video, I want to talk about the chord progression from the song Michelle by the Beatles. So this is a really, really cool chord progression. Lots of cool stuff going on in here. But the specific thing that I want to talk about in this video is the use of diminished chords. So if you can kind of follow along with the theory about how they're using diminished chords here in this song, you can take the same concepts and apply it to your own songwriting, or you can analyze other songs. If you see a diminished chord used in another song, you can say, hey, all right, they're doing that there too. Once you kind of get the concept of diminished chords, it's not really as complicated as you may think. So that's what this video is going to be about. So real quick, before getting started with the lesson, I just have to give a quick plug for my website, which is zombieguitar.com. If you have not checked out zombieguitar.com yet, check it out. There's two membership levels. There's a free membership level. Costs you nothing. You get some free lessons. You get a free course. Absolutely free. There's a full access membership. Full access membership is a one-time fee. Not a recurring subscription. One-time fee. And one-time fee gets you all of the content that I've been adding for the past six years and all the content that I'm still adding to the site. Currently, there's like 4,000 videos on there. There's 20 structured courses. There's like 200 super in-depth lessons. There's lots of song lessons. There's lots of solo analysis lessons. There's written lessons. There's video lessons. There's video backing tracks. Thousands of video backing tracks. There's just so much stuff. You pay the one-time fee, you get all that. You don't want to pay the one-time fee. You want to get some free stuff. There's that option too. I'd really appreciate it if you check out zombieguitar.com. Thank you very much. Let's get started with the lesson. All right, so let's now talk about these diminished chords. So I'm going to explain the theory about how these diminished chords work using the key of C major just to explain the theory. The song Michelle, the Speedle song, is in the key of F minor, but it's a lot it's a lot harder to kind of follow along in a key of F minor because there's a lot of flats and stuff like that. It's always easier to explain music theory concepts using the key of C. So first let me explain how diminished chords work in the key of C. Then we'll go and we'll look at it as actually used in the song, which is in the key of F minor. So the way that diminished chords work is that you can put a fully diminished chord. There's a couple different types of diminished chords. There's fully diminished chords and there's half diminished chords. you can take a fully diminished chord and you can put it in between the spaces in between the in key chords. So for any given key, whether it's a major key, whether it's a minor key, you have three major chords, three minor chords, and one diminished chord. The one diminished chord that's found in any given key is a half diminished chord. But you can use a fully diminished chord and put it in the spaces. So what do I mean by the spaces? Well, let's look at our C major scale spanned along the A string. So here's the C major scale, starting on the note C, third fret of the A string. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. There's your C major scale. So as you can see, there's whole steps and there's half steps. So any one of those spaces between one note and the next, that's where you could put a fully diminished chord. So if I wanted to put a fully diminished chord right here, that would be a C-sharp diminished. If I wanted to put one right here, that would be a D-sharp diminished. So then you have E, F, then I could put one right here, that would be an F-sharp diminished. And then I could put one right here, that would be a G-sharp diminished. So anywhere you have these spaces, you can put a fully diminished chord there. So one uh, of the a song you probably heard, it's uh, Friends in Low Places, Garth Brooks. The song starts out on a C major chord. Then it uses a C sharp fully diminished chord. Then it goes to a D minor chord. Very nice transitional chord. So they just took a C sharp diminished and they put it in that space right in between the C major chord and the D minor chord, which are the two chords that are part of the key. Once you have your fully diminished chord, in this case we're using the C-sharp diminished right there, diminished chords are what is known as symmetrical. So any diminished chord rooted right there on the fourth fret, you can move the whole shape up by three frets and play the same chord shape, and it's going to be the same exact notes. It's going to be the same four notes, it's just they're going to be arranged differently. So if I take my C-sharp diminished chord that looks like this, 
and I move it up to here, it's the same four notes. It's just the notes are arranged differently. And then I can move it up to here. Again, same four notes. Move it up to here. Same four notes. So when you have your diminished chord that you want to use, which in this case we're trying to use a C sharp diminished chord placed in between a C major and a D minor chord, we're using a C sharp diminished chord. Well, I can not only just use the C sharp diminished chord, but I could use an E diminished chord. I can use a G diminished chord. I can use an A sharp diminished chord, and they're all going to function the exact same way. So if I wanted to do this, and then I wanted to play this, and then I wanted to play the D minor chord, it works the same way. So if I wanted to use the G diminished chord, it would have done the same thing. So that's the whole thing. When you find these diminished chords that you want to use inserted into the space in between one in key chord and the next, you have four options. You always have four options because of the symmetry of fully diminished chords. So let's now see how this applies to the Beatles song. So the part of the Beatles song that uses them, it starts out on this uh, F chord right here. So as you can see, they're moving up by three frets at a time. Just as we said, the diminished chords, they have that thing where you play your diminished chord, you move up three frets, same thing, you move up three frets. So they're doing that right there. So the diminished chord that's being used here is based off the chord that is rooted one half step below the C. Let's just look at where these diminished chords are leading us to, because diminished chords lead you to another chord. Diminished chords are very out of key, they're very tense, but they lead you to a chord that's more in the key, more, uh, less tense, I guess you could say. So you have this diminished chord right here. We're gonna play, um, we're just gonna play it like this. Leading you to the C. If I wanted to replace this diminished chord with one that's three frets higher, you see how it still functions the same way? Let's keep going up. As soon as I hit that C, the tension is gone. So diminished is like tension, 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 release. So the diminished chord that's being used is the one that is falling into this empty space right here, right on the seventh fret. And that's diminished chords in a nutshell. So hopefully that made sense. Um, hopefully you can take this concept and anytime you see a diminished chord being used, you can now understand, okay, there's a diminished chord being used. I know that that must be in one of those spaces between in key chords. If the actual diminished chord that's being used, just remember you can always, there's always four of them that are going to work. So if the one that you're going for is not the one that you think it is, well, try the other ones. Try moving it up three frets, moving it up three frets. Keep moving it up. Eventually you're going to find, oh, okay, that's what's going on. They're using that diminished chord, maybe one of the four voicings of it, and then it's leading you very nicely to one of the in key chords. So that's how diminished chords work. That's how the Beatles use them. That's how they're used a lot. Hopefully that made sense. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.